Hello everyone, it is Sunday the 13th of September. I'm currently just finishing off The Virgin Suicides by Jeffrey Eugenides, and then I don't know what I'm gonna read next. Uh, possibly some Christie or some Shakespeare. I don't know, I'll see what I fancy. I'll go and have a look in a minute. Yeah, oh, his weekly reading vlog. I don't know if I said that. Hello. What day is it? <laughs> it's Wednesday. Well, it's just gone midnight on Tuesday, so it's Wednesday the 16th of uh, September. Um, what have I been doing? I felt really tired early. Well, okay, so let's skip back. So yesterday we had a meeting at the Art Centre, um, and so I was there from about three till half six, and then some of my friends went to the pub, so I went to meet them, and we stayed till like half ten, so I got a little bit drunk. So I had a hangover today. It was nice, though. Um, just got to hang out with them and baby Hugo as well. I got to hang out with baby Hugo. I've given I've given them some books to read to him, so they've been reading some like Ladybird books and some Dr. Seuss and stuff. Um, he's too young really to read to, but you know it's a nice like bonding thing for for the family. I think so. That's cute. Um, so yeah, today I had a hangover. I went for a walk. I went for my walk up and down the hill. Oh, oh, I can't show you because it's too dark. But I've made like a little porch garden. In fact, if I remember. At some point I'll remember and I'll show you a little update of the garden and the porch, um, show you around. I mean, I've got this new plant. Look, that's a new plant. I can't remember what it is now. But uh, that's over there by my guitars. I'm currently reading Born a Crime and Other Stories by Trevor Noah. And um, it's rather good. I also have a stack of books over here to haul. Um, basically, I, I won a load of Asimov online in a job lot auction, so I've got to film those for my my uh, haul. And I guess I need to start work on next week's radio show already. Like, I only finished this week's one this afternoon. So, <laughs> uh, so that's where I'm at. I don't think I have anything else for you. I have a lot of work to do. I have so much stuff to do. Um, oh, and then, so today, on Wednesday, in the afternoon, I'm supposed to be going to my friend Dave's. Um, so Amanda, his housemate, um, has been, she's beta red meat for me. So she's got some notes to take me through on that. And then me and Dave need to practice because on Saturday, no, on Sunday, we're playing at Music in the Garden at the Art Centre, which I'm super excited about because it's this, um, uh, it's an event I've sort of sorted from the start, really, I guess. I mean, obviously there's gonna be a big team working on it, but I picked out the acts and, um, made the poster and have done all the marketing for it and stuff and then I'm playing as part of the opening act I'm not actually working on the day as well, so I can take it as like a social which is cool So I will go before it starts and stuff to make sure So, so I mean I've sourced a bar made for example And there's gonna be someone working on the door who's volunteering so I'm gonna make sure they know what they're doing Make sure we've got all the setup right because we have to make sure it's all COVID secure So um because there was a scare because in the UK the law has changed so it's gatherings of up to six people now and so for a while it was unclear like does that mean pubs can only have a maximum of six people in them but basically the limits are still the same it's just people can't go between groups so we're gonna have to set up tables all the way across the car park and basically you sit at a table um, bar staff bring drinks to you and you only get up if you're going to the bathroom basically uh, we're also gonna do a separate track and trace for the musicians as well um, yeah, actually Steve, who was um, the, the daddy, the baby daddy, <laughs> uh, he, he'd got some really, well, I think it's because he used to work in tattoo shops or something, or he knows about how tattoo shops work, and he was talking about the concept, you have, you have a clean arm and a dirty arm, so for me, my clean arm would be my left hand, my dirty hand would be my right hand, and then, um, because we're talking about, like, when we have live music performances, um, People, we've asked them if they can to bring their own microphone, but people might share a microphone. And in that case, we've got some microphone covers. So basically, I need to be responsible for replacing the microphone covers and making sure, again, I have a dirty hand and a clean hand. So this hand, my right hand, is my dirty hand. So this is what, basically my left hand here. This is the one that I'll have to use to open the packet, the clean packet. And then my dirty hand, my right hand, is what I'll use to take the old one off. And then I'll use my clean hand to put the new one on, if that makes sense. So it was really good, he gave me some good tips about that, but it's just mad that we have to think about this. We have to make sure everyone signs in at the gate for track and trace. And then we have to make sure that in 21 days we delete the, well, well we burn the records, I guess, because we're not even digitizing them as well, because some people get funny about it, which is fair enough. Um, I mean, we're only doing it, well, we're doing it for safety, you know, safety of staff and visitors. It is also legally required, but, you know, 
we wouldn't have done this a year ago because we wouldn't have needed to for the safety of our staff and visitors, you know what I mean? So, so that's where we're at. Hello! Oh god, I'm tired. What day is it? I think it's Wednesday, the 17th of September. Um, I didn't sleep so well last night, then woke up kind of this afternoon and um, pretty much went straight on my friend's radio show. Then went to my friend Dave's house to practice our set for Sunday. And also his housemate's beta read my novel, so she was taking me through that. Uh, and now I'm just at home, I've got a lot of stuff to do. So I'm going to crack on being productive tonight. Off out tomorrow to the pub, to the Chilton Taps. Uh, what am I doing? Friday is a chill night, I think. Saturday I'm going to see a Jimi Hendrix tributey thingy or whatever. And then Sunday is going to be our um, Music in the Garden event at the Art Centre, which I'm very looking forward to. I'm still reading Born a Crime by Trevor Noah, aren't I, Biggie? Yes. And um, it's still very good. Hello everyone, it is Thursday. Uh, the Rock Project are currently at the Art Centre, so I met the guy from there to take him through the keys and stuff earlier. I'm now just cracking on being productive, editing my books, um, doing a few last minute tidy bits. Um, I've done some more work on my garden today as well. So that's all very cool. Uh, I've almost finished reading Born a Crime and Other Stories. I'll have that here. So after that, I'm going to read Nightfall 1, because I've already read Nightfall 2, so it'll be good to get this one ticked off uh, by Isaac Asimov. So I've got that to do. As, as I say, I've been uh, editing my book. I've been uh, burning through work as well. So uh, I was supposed to be going out this evening and also on Saturday evening, but both of those are no longer happening now, which means more time to get work done as well. But uh, yeah, I currently have five jobs on the go. Uh, one of the, well, two of those are books and they're both editing jobs. And one of those editing jobs in particular is kind of almost done. Um, some is the art center stuff. So basically I'm almost at a point where I've like done everything that I need to do. So I kind of need to start bidding for some more jobs I think. Um, so I'll be keeping my eyes peeled for that. But recently I've only been bidding on jobs that are like jobs that really interest me. So it's been kind of cool to do that. And it's no bad thing um, if I take some time off. Cause I looked at like, so let's see. Yes, yeah, since basically since March, I've worked 85 extra days. So, I've basically been working nearly two jobs, so I'm kind of owed some time off. I'm, to be specific, I'm owed 85 days off. <laughs> um, so yeah, we'll see how that goes. Hello, it's Friday evening. Biggie's over there playing with his mouse. I've got some stuff to do, I suppose. I'm actually kind of up to date with all my work. So uh, Friday the 18th. I've got a few bits and bobs I can be doing, but it's mostly being proactive, but that's no bad thing. So I'm just going to make a start on next week's work over the weekend, because I don't really have anything planned. I'm feeling a little bit melancholy, uh, I guess a little lonely. I mean, it's just because it's Friday night and I don't have anything to do, but I could have gone out with some friends and stuff. It's just I didn't wake up till 4.30pm. So, so I'm probably actually going to stay up all night tonight and all day tomorrow and then go to bed and then it'll be Sunday at the art centre because um, I need to wake up kind of early for that. So we probably will do that. I need to try not to get too drunk there as well. I'll try and take some footage because I need to really use it for marketing purposes and stuff as well. I have uh, I finished reading Born a Crime by Trevor Noah, which is over here. I gave it a four out of five for full review coming soon. And I've been reading Nightfall 1 by Isaac Asimov and I'll probably finish it today or you know early hours of the morning or whatever it's okay it's like the accompanying book uh, to go with a book called nightfall that asimov wrote uh, well basically he wrote night nightfall is a collection and it was originally hardback and nightfall was one of his earliest short stories that was one of his like better known ones and so it was like the title of this short story collection and then you get nightfall one and nightfall two because it went from being published as uh, it was published as the hardback and then for the paperback they published it in two little editions that are like this size so um, and I've read part two so I'm just reading part one but it's not as good and I think it's because it was earlier in his career like that's the point of the the books they um, go chronologically and so this one is earlier in his career and they're only like four or five stories so they're almost m more like novellas in a way I mean it's only 180 pages long I guess but um, the later stories in the other half of the collection are a lot smaller and I find that Asimov is at his best with ideas. So, you know, I find that Asimov is at his best with ideas as well. So shorter short stories are generally better for me because then, um, 
you know, there are more ideas contained within them, I suppose. Anyway, yeah, off to read more and stuff. I don't know what's next after Asimov. I need to choose, actually. I broke free on a Saturday morning. I put the pedal to the floor. Headed north on Mills Avenue. And listen to the engine roar. My drugs, I have my woman, they keep away my loneliness. My parents, they have their religion, but sleep in separate houses. I read the body count out of the paper, and now it's written all over my face. No one ever plans to sleep out in the gutter Sometimes that's just the most comfortable place Biggie, biggie Biggie, may I ask you a question? What is going on? Look at these tufts. Look at these tufts on your paw. I know, yawny yawn. Look at those tufts. Why well, have you got hairy paws? Hey, why well, you got hairy paws? You having a nice lazy day? I don't blame you. Think somebody's been cleaning themselves, haven't they? Good boy. So yes, I am just here chilling with the cat. He's a bit yawny. Uh, we're both a bit yawny, aren't we? It's ten past one in the afternoon. Haven't been to bed yet, so there is that. Um, I've been working all night, pretty much. Uh, I did a few video bits as well. A few of other bits of my own. Kind of tied the house a bit. Oh, God. I've got a guy coming over later to drop off 200 plus fantasy no 200 plus sci-fi novels that i won on ebay for about 60 quid uh, so he's dropping them off himself because he was hoping they'd go for more and because they didn't go for as much as he was hoping it's basically uneconomical for him to post them so he's just dropping them off instead but that's fine isn't it biggie as long as he doesn't come in and disturb you because you're the boss of the house oh yes i have your bum bum so we're just chilling and um, as I say I'm going to do that so I guess there's going to be a massive haul I'll probably do a specific haul video just for all this stuff that I'm getting from this one guy and then a lot of it is going to go on my eBay but also there's loads of like Asimov and Heinlein and uh, Arthur C. Clarke and stuff so there are some authors in there that I do also really want to read and obviously there'll be some stuff that I've already read as well Speaking of already read, I don't know if I updated you on this before, but I finished reading Nightfall by Isaac Asimov, uh, which was alright, I gave it like a 3.5 out of 5. Then I read A Book of Milligan Animals by Spike Milligan, and um, this was like short and sweet. It's some of um, Spike Milligan's like illustrations and stuff and little poems like this. A lion is fierce, his teeth can pierce the skin of a postman's knee. It serves him right that because of his bite he gets no letters, you see. So yeah, probably like 3.5 out of 5. It was something I totally whizzed through, but I did enjoy it. So that is a little summage summing. And now I'm reading some more Spike... Oh my god. There we go. That's better. Now I'm reading some more Spike Milligan, uh, A Celebration. So um, this is like bits and bobs from various of his different books. Plus some like scripts from his TV and radio shows. Plus some like stories about it from people like... Uh, Eric Sykes, Sir Harry Seacombe, Dennis Norden, Bonnie Scott, uh, who else was in there? Oh, Jim Dale was in there. So it's been interesting so far. And this is, again, because I've got a big job lot of these on eBay. So uh, I've been reading through those. And uh, yeah, now, as I say, I'm just going to try and be productive, or as productive as I can be, until about, well, till whenever it gets dark. I reckon I'll go to bed about 9, 10 p.m., um, and do do a bit of reading and watch a bit of Red Dwarf and then when I wake up I'm supposed to be at the art centre for 10.30 tomorrow so for our um, music in the garden so that should be good alright that good Biggs oh yes I'm also going to show you the garden 
Um, so that's my indoor plant. Um, I've got my indoor plant up there. I'm, I'm a succulent over there on my desk. But this is the new bit. So this is my porch garden. And Biggie comes to look at the porch garden sometimes, don't you, Biggie? Oh yeah. And this is uh, catnip and cat grass for Biggie. Isn't it, Biggie? It's for you. What's this? What's this? What is it? It's catnip, Biggie. Look. And these are for you to chew on. Nom 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 nom. Look at this, Biggs. Oh, what you found there? You found a pepper. Look. Biggie, what's this? What's this little cat grass? Whoop, 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 whoop. Whoop, 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 whoop. And this is catnip. Does it smell good? Does it smell good, Biggie? What does it smell like? <laughs> is that nice? Do you like the catnip? It's your little part of the garden, isn't it? We were going to try and take him outside on the little cat lead I've got, but it's not... <laughs> I've got a large and it's still too bit too small. I am watching Ancient Aliens Series 3, I think. Oh, God, what am I doing with my life? Um, I went to bed about half nine, ten-ish last night, and I slept until about four, five-ish this morning. I woke up and I had, like, these, like, weird, like, fever. I get these, like, weird fever sleeps sometimes. Um, actually, it is kind of a bummer because... Well, there's this event today at the Art Centre Music in the Garden, and strictly speaking, to be on the safe side, I probably shouldn't go because, you know, fevers are a symptom of the dreaded, the dreaded plague, aren't they? But um, I get a lot of fevers in general, especially when I haven't been sleeping much. Uh, and I, I should point out, it's not like a, I guess it's more like, um, it's like night sweats. Like I just get really, really hot, and then get really, really sweaty. And then I take all the blankets off and then I cool down because of all that sweat. And then I get really, really cold. And then repeat, basically. So, um, yeah, I only had like five hours sleep. Um, it's currently 7am on Sunday the 20th of September. Um, so later on at the Art Centre is Music in the Garden. So me and Dave are playing at 12.30. But I have to be there at 10.30. So three and a half hours I've got to be there. Um, I'm going to have some vegan cheese with uh, Branston pickle and little um, these things. Uh, cream crackers that are vegan because they don't have any cream in. They're just called cream crackers. <laughs> what have I been reading? Uh, I think I'm, since last time I updated you, I'm still just reading Spike Milligan A Celebration. I have almost finished it now. I did do a few tabs as though I was going to do a review, but I don't think I will because there's not enough to say. It's just alright. So, yeah, I'm going to go and have a shower in a bit and then get ready to go down to the art centre. I might... I'm debating going for a walk first, you know. We'll see. I might do. Um, and I've been doing a little bit of work this morning as well, just getting a few last bits ticked off and obviously getting a few filming bits ticked off. And um, soon it will be time for me to start going through... My massive pile of, uh, here we go. All those books over there are all books out of a job lot I got for 60 pounds. Um, there's also a bunch down here. These are just like half of the ones that are on my keep pile. The ones that are over there, 
those are going to be um, those are going to go on my eBay. So yes, that's where we're at. Hello everybody, it is ya boy Dane here. I feel pretty terrible, but yesterday was a very good day at the art centre. I think we had 102 people arrived. Um, yeah, uh, throughout the day. Um, we made some decent money as well on the bar, so that's good. Everyone's very happy. Then after that I went out in town, drank some more, had some shots and stuff. So today I just feel awful, very hungover. But I'm trying my best to keep going. My anxiety's been bad today as well. Um, but what can you do? I've finished reading Spike Milligan, A Celebration. And so now I've just started The Listerdale Mystery by Agatha Christie. And this is a short story collection. So uh, keep your eyes peeled for further updates on that. Uh, but it's also the end of a week. In fact, it's Monday, isn't it? It is Monday at the 21st of September. So it's time for me to love you and leave you. So as always, thanks a lot for watching. Don't forget to hit that like button if you've enjoyed this video. Let me know in the comments if you've read any of these books and if so, what you thought of them. Hit that subscribe button for more and I will see you soon for another bookish video. Thanks a lot. Bye-bye.